What's up guys, Billy here at Mad Max again. Today we're gonna be hitting up part one of what's gonna be a multi-part video series of the 10.3 inch Geisley Colt URGI Block 3 build. half full, some see it half empty, but the enlightened are just glad to have a glass. So what we got here is the upper receiver group improved block three. Um, it's going by a bunch of different names depending on where you get it or who built it. Um, if you buy it from Geisley or Brownells, uh, they just call it the URGI by Geisley. I got this from the guys at Allegiant Firearms. They uh, it was a custom build, so it, a couple of little things are different. Like the muzzle device is not a four prong; it is a closed time war comp, and the upper itself is a gauge code Colt upper. But I'm gonna start front to back on here and do a couple caveats in between. Like I said before, Surefire closed time war comp. Um, I haven't used a four prong before, however I think this functions better and from what I'm told from multiple sources that all of the uh, R&D done with these uppers were with war comps not four prongs and being that it's not an issued gun yet so it's not really a clone but it's a clone, it's, it's in a weird gray area, but uh, all the R&D was done with war comps not four prongs from what I'm told. Uh, this definitely performs better than a four prong when it comes to uh, recoil mitigation. Um, the flash hiding is good. Um, maybe the four prong might be a little bit better at flash hiding, but I haven't seen any issues with like any sort of muzzle blast. And it's just dumb easy to uh, manage this recoil. What really makes the upper special is the rail. It's a Geisley Mark 16 rail and it's very similar to the BCM MCMR. It's a way more heavy duty like it's rock solid. It's replacing a Daniel Defense Riz too so you know it's got to be able to take a beating and a half but yeah it's got M-lock on all sides but the 12 o'clock and it's essentially MCMR or a Geisley Mark 8 just beefed up like hella beefed up. Right here we got a CAC, like the regular size CAC flip up set. It's not in taupe, it's in black. Nobody really knows what's going to be on there yet, so this is fine. The barrel is a 10.3 uh, Colt barrel with the big, bigger port size. It was factory 10.3 inch, so don't have any uh, issues with the gas port. It's got the bomb proof Geisley gas block installed. It's pinned and uh, set screwed bomb proof it's in the name the upper like I said before it's a Colt gauge code should be able to see there it's got a square forging and then the code with it so it's, it's a Colt upper um, would another upper work absolutely this is just cool points I guess uh, bolt carrier group is a MP HP tested Colt it's Stamped, but like very slight. You can't really see it that well. It's one of the newer ones. In the rear, another CAC flip-up sight. Again, we don't know what's going to be on it for sure, for sure, but one can only assume it's going to be these CAC sights. The optic, I got an EXPS3 on here for now. Don't know exactly what I'm going to do in the future. I'm thinking Razor and a Geisley Super Mount, or Super Precision Mount. Not totally, not 100% sure yet. Might do a NX8 gotta play around with it that's why this is gonna be a multiple part video series charging handle Geisley airborne charging handle with the engravings 
I'll make sure I get a close up there. It's not laser etched. It's the NSN marked one. Um, yeah, so that's exact. That's what's going to be issued. It was made specifically to be issued to special operations. So the airborne charging handle is pretty much the exact same as the Geisley supercharging handle, except it's thinner. Not thinner. It's not as wide, so it doesn't get hooked on gear for airborne operations. Um, it, it does have like a little gas buster thing going on here for when you're shooting suppressed. It's supposed to divert the gases. It's probably not as effective as say the Radian one that has the slits in it for uh, gas diversion or the actual PRI gas buster but it will help more than a standard charging handle. Um, the lower, this is going to be a point of controversy. Uh, I, I posted a picture of this on the CRA phone page and it really set some people off because it's got a brace so therefore it's not a true clone. I get that, but like, get off your high horse, people. Uh, the upper's not really a clone then, like, it's not issued yet, is it? But it is on a Colt M4 lower. Now people are like, oh, once a rifle, always a rifle. False. Now if it was pulled off a rifle originally, then yes, that's true. But this was bought as a complete lower from Brownells a couple years back when they were issuing those. It's the CR prefix ones. If you made it into a pistol before you made it into a rifle, it can go back into a pistol. I'll post a picture of like the ATF ruling on that. But this was originally on a Mark 18 Mod Zero ish. It wasn't like a real one. I was not really embarrassed of it, but like it was it was a cheapo, so I got rid of it. Then I put it on block two. Then from the block two, it went on to a block one. And then from there, I got rid of both those uppers and went on a block three. If it started out as a lower and then went to a pistol first, it could then be changed into a rifle by adding a stock and then back to a pistol by adding a brace again. So that is how that works. Again, if it came off a 6920 and I did this, made it into a pistol, not legal. But since it went from lower into pistol to rifle back to pistol, legal. Just gonna leave it at that but yeah it's a Colt m4 lower um, standard shit there I got a Geisley SSAE super fucking crisp dude uh, get a close-up get this out of here. I got a close-up of it it's a three and a half pound nice smooth crisp like breaking glass again Ooh. Nice reset, nice short reset, uh, right there. So, yeah, that's to say it's, I don't want to say it's too light, like I've said in the past, it does take some getting used to when you're going from a four and a half pound trigger that you're used to, to a three and a half pound, but the break is only like one point five, like a pound and a half I don't uh, I don't remember exactly what the second stage is but it's less than two pounds and it's fucking I think it's a pound and a half and this thing you could you can shred some shit with this however I, I will still say that I might prefer the SSA more because it's easier to control but this is faster. Uh, back here SBA 3 brace painted um, not much to say about it. It's the best brace you can get, and adjustable length of pull. There's tons of videos out there on it, but yeah, I'm not here to really talk about this. So I've taken it out, shot it some distance a couple weeks ago, and I was shooting out to 250 with the EOTech. Uh, when I was shooting for like the 375, I it was behind a bush and it was painted black, so I couldn't really see it. But I was making hits at uh, 215, 275 on a two-third silhouette and a 12-inch gong with relative ease. And I don't have the best eyes in the world, so like that's saying something about the accuracy of this gun. In the following videos that I'm going to be doing in the series, I'm, I am going to do an accuracy testing with a magnified optic, either uh, Night Force 
NXS 2.5 to 10, uh, Night Forest NX 8, whenever that comes in, or I might even get the Razor, like I was saying, and test with that. Look out for that in the future for uh, the accuracy testing. I'm Mr. Guns and Gear did one. It puts up good numbers, as you should expect from a Colt barrel. Um, I am going to be doing some changes, like I said, the optic. I don't. I'm going to. I haven't. I'm not decided on the light. I have a M300 Mini Scout and an M600 Dual Fuel that I'm thinking about putting on here. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do yet. And then for foregrip, see that's another point of contention. People say that you can measure this fully extended to here to get over 26 inches to put a vertical grip. I don't know for sure the rule on that, so I'm going from end of buffer, not 26 inches, not getting a vertical grip until somebody proves otherwise that it can be on there. Um, think about doing a CAG grip, maybe a Magpul Angle 4 grip. I see a lot of those. Uh, in the wild pictures on like block twos and mark 18s and whatnot so I might do that but as of now this this is fine but yeah this is a, honestly exceeded all expectations I thought I was buying this as like a novelty piece so it was gonna look sick because it's like the new hotness but honestly like if you're doing some close-up stuff if you're into CQB classes or whatever and you're just rocking a red dot on here like Neotech. This thing fucking, it, it really rips like super accurate, easy shoot, comfortable. But like I'm really impressed with this rail. I thought it was gonna be like a more expensive version of an MCMR. You can't even use the same barrel nut as the Mark 14s or any of the other guys he wants because this one is like so much more hefty. And the bolts are bigger, everything like this thing is solid as a rock. It's got these little anti-rotational tabs up on top and like the set screws on the bottom. I get some up closes of those. But extremely happy with this. I was going to go with the 14 and a half inch, but I saw a deal on this and I hopped on it because it's it's different than what everybody else is gonna be having. It's got the Colt upper and then it has got a uh, close tine war comp instead of a four prong. Um, four prong got more of a cool factor to it, sure. From what I'm told, this is what's going to be on the gun, and it performs better. I th personally, I think it looks cooler. Don't tell anybody else. But yeah, overall, this gun is definitely a shooter. Easy to shoot. Oh, I'll touch on this. This is a Ferro Concept Slings here. One of my favorite slings. Um, don't know what I'm probably not going to stay on here. It's just one that I had laying around at the time. But don't know what I'm going to be doing with that. Like I said, don't know what I'm going to be doing with the object, don't know what I'm going to be doing with the foregrip, don't know what I'm going to be doing with the light. So as of now, this is the way it sits. Stay tuned for the upcoming parts of this. Thanks for watching, guys. If you, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, eat a dick. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. If you don't, okay. My face is going to be right around here. Got a couple videos, my latest one and one that's best suited for you. And stay tuned for some more gear, equipment, and eventually in the future I'm going to do just some talking point videos. I'll see you soon. Another blooper on Jackpot.